This is TNC Movie Nights. And we've got a review for you today. Of course, our second show of the week. If you missed it, go back. I would definitely say check out our last show. We always say check out the last show, but I'll be honest, four weeks from now when we say check out the last show, I would say go check this one out instead. Uh, this was our Movies We Hate episode, and we really got into it, had a lot of fun, and we even had to record it twice because the first one, my audio did not want to catch up and uh, felt really bad, but it sure made it uh, a little more angry and uh, set the mood for it. Uh, we really appreciate all the love you guys gave to the TikToks, Twitter, and uh, Instagram videos as well. So thank you so much for that. But today, as I mentioned, we're reviewing Hubie Halloween, Adam Sandler's new Netflix original film. Alex, I'm going to throw it over to you to kind of start. I'm very okay. curious on what you're thinking with it because I know for the most part how you feel about general sense of movies, but maybe I'll, you know, maybe it'll be different for this one. I, I don't know. I doubt it though. <laughs> it it wasn't a good movie, but I enjoyed it. Okay, it was fun. I <laughs> I laughed. I liked it. Parts were stupid. Parts were great. Parts were, I was rolling my eyes real hard. And no, I wouldn't say, this is a great movie. you got to check it out. I would say, I mean, it's on Netflix. Go watch it. It's fun. It's dumb. Um, I, I, I found the callbacks and references more charming than grading. So that was kind of fun, seeing Ben Stiller in there as Hal. Um, seeing the, the O'Doyle kid. It's kind oh, of funny. Oh, goodness. Know, we mentioned, you know, the Sandler verse, but uh, it's kind of fun when they leak into other movies um god there's another one maybe like another six yeah but, a good uh, portion oh and it, i thought it was interesting sandler might have a weird thing with like double v names <laughs> like for Waterboy, it was vicky valancourt and then for this one it's violet valentine and yeah there's someone something happened <laughs> but um uh, but yeah, I liked it. I thought the thermos was hilarious, and I loved every time it got more and more ridiculous. So, what did you think? The first quarter of the movie was pretty rough. Yeah. It was starting, we even were kind of going back and forth texting a little bit. And I was like, oh man, this is gonna suck. <laughs> and uh, it, it's not a great movie, it's not. It, it is a fun movie, though, I, I'll be honest there. There are some pretty good moments. I do like the extremes they take. For example, the thermos. It starts off just a regular thermos, and then there's a flashlight on it, then a grapple, and it just keeps going further and further with how ridiculous they can make the furnace. <laughs> and it's always also soup. <laughs> and I really appreciated that. The other one that I really love that they kind of kept going and going with was when he was riding his bike and stuff was getting thrown at him. Yeah, that was <laughs> that so was... great. Because it never hit him, so it never um, took up too much screen time. But it was always funny just to see, like, a full watermelon or, like, a flaming arrow. Yep. That was really fun. Yeah, I, I definitely agree there. Uh, and just like all of our reviews, I'm going to go ahead and preface now. Spoiler alerts. If you haven't seen the movie, if you care about any spoilers, I'll be honest, it's not like a crazy yep. story movie uh there's one pretty big spoiler we'll talk about so if you haven't seen it and you want to experience it for the first time for yourself i definitely say go check it out and then come back and finish up the episode yes. uh but you know all in all the movie is a it's a fun time it knows what it is and it doesn't take itself seriously at all and hats off to them for that it uh <sighs> It felt nice. It's that, it's Go that ahead. key bit of self-awareness that you need with a movie yeah. like this. Yeah. It, it felt nice to kind of have that Billy Madison, Waterboy vibe of Adam Sandler back. I I really had a difficult time. I, I think it finally settled in two-thirds the way in the movie. Just that the voice, the... Like that. I don't That's know. That's actually pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Um... But yeah, that, that got annoying. It was yeah. it was too in the middle of characters he's already done and mm -hmm. his normal speaking voice. 
So it's like as grating as the Water Boy is to listen to, it's the Water Boy, so you know yeah. it. And Adam Sandler, not necessarily Golden Pipes, but just sounds like a normal person. So to have a little bit of both, it was just like, this is just it, something feels off. Yeah, I was just waiting for like the penguin from Billy Madison. Oh, hello, Mister Penguin! Like something <laughs> that was just the constant voice. And like I said, two thirds of the way in the movie, roughly it kind of just sank in finally so it did take some time it was really annoying in the beginning totally yeah and i don't know like the first like 20 30 minutes of the movie kind of sucked and it kind of just picked up out of nowhere i think a big yeah. part of it was tommy and i don't remember the girl's name but the girl who is red riding hood i yeah. really liked them a lot they were fun they were nice they were people yeah. that's the big thing man it's it's so refreshing to watch people act like people mm-hmm. and it sounds stupid when you're watching movies you're watching a character like the way that people speak in movies is not a lot like how people speak in in the real world especially when it's like high school party or it's halloween and everyone's just like eh, everyone it's not how people talk so it's just really refreshing to see people have an actual conversation you're like yeah that's how a person talks i and that was the big thing with the two of them i don't know why i just they just felt so natural and they did a great job with them because they didn't make it super awkward between them like this you know the young freshman who likes the junior senior girl and made it so outrageously like cringy it felt Mm -hmm. so normal and i love that i really appreciated that at first i was like why are they throwing this weird just kind of out there love story in here and then it really just fit in with the plot and it worked so well i really loved the two of them uh so it was kind of nice some of the side characters in the movie and just the side plots going on weren't um too bad the whole like werewolf thing was (laughs) so funny (laughs) It, it, I'm about to say, it was so, so just out of left field. And it, it I wasn't. Love it. Yeah, I, I love the two of them. And that was what really kind of drove it home for me. But it just didn't oh fit like anywhere in the movie, really, outside of them thinking maybe they're the ones that was hurting oh people. But uh, they definitely pulled it off pretty well. I loved the werewolf thing. I loved how stupid they tied in that psych ward uh, escape. And it was just like Rob Schneider was just like breaking out to see his buddy and make him feel good. <laughs> it was just so stupid. And I love how like it was so set up to be an actual like sci-fi comedy sort of thing. And then they just went, no, nah, it's just a crazy guy who glued hair on his arms. And then this guy with the pig head He's just been walking around looking for his old roommate because they need to go home. And you're like, oh my god, this is amazing. But then they do have some other things that are kind of unexplainable in that, and then they tie it all together by revealing that it's it's mom just standing up for her kid who constantly gets bullied. Yeah, I I really did enjoy that a lot because I I don't remember what movie it is. I, we've talked about it before. Psycho, maybe? yes yes okay yeah we're like you think it's the the one guy but it's like his mom or whatever they kind of played off that a little bit which they did it was uh, it was done well and i didn't really catch it until like right at the end of the movie like i'll be honest i i'm not great at catching foreshadowing but finally at the end where they were like it's in the house like it's in your house and then i was like oh my goodness it's actually the mom so it, it did take a while for me to for at least me to get there yeah i was the same way i was thinking like oh god they're gonna set this up and it's just gonna be a werewolf and it's gonna be funny and then yeah maybe the thermos will come in handy or the toy silver bullet that the dog ate like he was gonna fall in the dog's crap some stupid adam sandler way to end the movie yeah but then it was just like no he's that just that crazy guy that has been down at the station for 45 minutes who glued uh, hair on his arm yeah he got that name off of a weird gravestone that he saw on his way into town yes i loved it it was such a better way to end yeah this movie really did surprise me in a lot of different ways of 
they actually, you know, threw us a great, as you mentioned just a couple of seconds ago, the great red herring in this movie. They just led us the whole way that it was going to be the werewolf situation. And then just, nope, it's the mom. So I really do appreciate that in the movie. And I would start the first, like, you know, 30-ish minutes. The movie is actually a lot of fun. I, you know, as you said, I would recommend it. Anyone who wants a laugh, again, there's going to be some cringy moments. There's some moments you're, as you did, roll your eyes back. But I laughed out loud in, in a couple parts of this movie. And I'm, I'm much more of a, <laughs> but I, I genuinely laughed out <laughs> loud. And my dad even like came through and was like, are you watching Hubie Halloween? And like, sorry, Hubie Halloween. And uh, so it, it, it was a good time uh, at moments. If you can get past the the voice that Adam Sandler does in the movie, I think it is a very very enjoyable movie. Yeah. Plus, it's Netflix. It's Halloween. It's Adam Sandler. It's a dumb movie. You're gonna watch a lot of dumber movies this like holiday Halloween season. There's a whole bunch of crappier stuff you can find. Almost everybody has Netflix, so it's not anything you have to do outside of what you already have. You can find a Wednesday when you guys are bored at home and just throw it on get a couple laughs and be like that was really dumb what's next and then it's over yeah. it's worth the watch it's worth that experience damn i i couldn't have said it better it, it was a pleasant surprise i yeah. i thought this movie was either going to be fantastic because again uncut gems was great and i'm a big adam fan adam sandler fan or this movie was just going to be terrible and, you know, I mean, review-wise, it's sitting at, like, a I think 50 60% on Rotten Tomatoes. So it's not, like, a god-awful That's movie. Fair. It's a slightly below-average rating movie. And, uh, yeah. It's fair. Understandable. You know, it, the goofy voice of Adam Sandler does kind of take you out of the movie a little bit. And then, you know, a little bit of uh, just eye-rolly, cringy stuff. But I will say that, unlike the, the crappy era Adam Sandler movies that we talked about... Where it just gets worse and worse and it becomes more and more grating the longer and longer you watch it this one is kind of the opposite where it yeah. starts out kind of rough but it it grows on you as the movie goes as you realize that it's more self-aware and it's less ridiculous while being absurd in the humor but not in the actual execution and it's like i said i mean it's an adam sandler holiday themed movie number 50 that he's made the bar is not going to be set that high so it's just go watch it. It's fun, or don't. Doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah. I again, I we do agree on a lot of points of this. And if anyone out there you want to get laugh, like we mentioned, check it out. If you got Netflix, you don't have to pay any more for it. So that's nice. Exactly. But yeah, all in all, it sounds like we both relatively enjoyed the movie. It was a fun time. Not a great movie, but it's enjoyable. You're not. You're gonna have some yeah. laughs with uh, your friends. But uh, that's going to do it for us today. A little bit of shorter of an episode for the review this week since we really uh, you know, threw it on you for last episode, about an hour. Yikes. So we'll keep this one probably roughly around 20, 25 minutes for everyone. Uh, yeah, we just, again, we appreciate it so much, all the support we're getting from everyone. It it means a lot. This is one of those things we thought like, hey, let's just talk some movies and maybe someday we'll get lucky and see where it goes and uh thanks to all of you it'll slowly get to go there and one day maybe it'll take off but uh alex where can the people find you if they want to know more about us and our other shows well brandon the people can find me you and us on the google on the facebook on the twitter on the tiktok if you're watching this now you're already on the youtube perhaps you brought the the facebook brought you to the youtube Either way, you're watching us there, and you can find us there. If you're just listening, all, like, two of you out there, uh, <laughs> we're on everywhere that you can find a podcast. Anchor's got the hookup, so Spotify, uh, Apple Podcasts, Google Play, and a bunch of other ones that I couldn't even start to list off. But we're everywhere. If you want to see sort of everything put together, the the is a great place, place to go. You can find a link to our merch. merch. Those are our faces. That's his face in penguin form. There's a whole bunch of stuff there. Check it out. As Brandon said, next, well, this coming up Wednesday, big, big sale, 20% off. Go get your merch. Yeah, it'll be Pretty Wednesday boys. and Thursday. Thank Thursday you all so much. Thursday. Do appreciate that. Super excited. Yeah. 
I'm going to finally get some Commander New merch. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome, man. I was never into Magic. but I'm Same. Gonna never played before. <laughs> no, no. But we're going to keep up with this, and maybe we'll get a game going or something. Sounds good. But anyway, I'm Alex. He's Brandon. So long.